Look at that crown. Ain't that crown so pretty? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Except for the fact that it covers all my eyes. Uh, let's see, where's our normal crown? There we go. Yay, now we can see. <laughs> cool. Uh, so, I've been to the, not the nether, um, we'll go back to bat form. I've been to the end. I had to, um, I dabbled a little bit in some miscraft just enough so I could get a linking book. And uh, now we've got more ender pearls. I didn't stay there for very long. I haven't been the dragon. Uh, I will save that for you guys so you guys get to see it. Um, done a little bit of work as well. I've made a few changes. Uh, if we head over here, look, it's a little bit taller. Yay! Um, I've had to move the tank over there, um, put the little portable thing there, and now we have more rows. So that's cool. Uh, if we hit over yonder, there was something that I found in the in the end, and it was these things over here, ender lilies. Um, I found that they only grow on the end stone, so I'm not really sure, but I think they grow ender pills. That was kind of what was happening when I was breaking them down. Um, so I'm assuming they can, you know, you can just grow mass fields of it, but they take so long, so long to grow. Um, I finally put in another elevator since I had a mass of ender pearls, um, and it just simply comes down here. I've opened it up a bit, moved things around, uh, and if we head down here, uh, I've been making more of these arcane lamps as well, just the place around the place, um, trying to get rid of all the torches, but... Uh, this place hasn't changed. Ooh, you have... I think I've got that helmet. Um, or thing. This thing hasn't changed. Uh, I put these guys down there, chained them to the post. Uh, trying to keep them, you know, keep them in line. Um, if we head over here... Uh, this part hasn't changed. But in order to try and make this area down here a bit more... Um, not fluent, what's the word? Uh, effective. Uh, my sword, or my eth ether ow, this thing, etheric sword needs to be enchanted. It's going to need to be amazing, uh, and we are going to have to love it. Uh, but that's that's the problem. You know, I can't enchant it because I'm useless. Uh, if we head over here, you can see, and you may have noticed it before, <gasps> it's a new room. And why is there cobblestone seemingly placed in the right places? <laughs> seemingly placed in the right places? Sure. Uh, actually, that could... Hmm. Not really sure how I want to do this part. Uh, I've been thinking about it, you see. Uh, essentially, this is going to be our enchanting room. Uh, you may be wondering, why are they laid out so specifically? Obviously, this part may be a, you know, for an enchanting table and some books. Uh, there's a tank here for some reason. Uh, and another piece of cobblestone, more over here. And you're thinking, hmm, why? Why this? Why this, Corey? Um, or Harold, depending on whether or not you want to speak to me in whatever form. Um, this is what I could do. Hmm. Well, I will tell you, uh, I s am still missing one more machine. Hang on. Alrighty, so I've got it here now, Auto Disenchanter. And you may be thinking, why do you need that? In fact, why do I need any of this stuff? Uh, we've got some ink sacks, some bookshelves, obviously for the enchanting. Uh, type setting table, which I don't think I've been over this stuff with you. I might have once, um, when I used to play on the Bravest Miners server. Uh, but printing press... Da or oak bookcases, auto anvil, auto enchantment table, print press chase, all sorts of goodies. Uh, so why don't we start placing some of these things down? Uh, I will just start knocking out some of these things and uh, I'll see you when most of it is placed. Alrighty, so there's the books. Mainly just did that just because they take a little bit longer to place. Uh, and so... This is where I want my auto enchantment table. Um, hmm. Maybe I should leave a block there so I can place it. Yes, that would be a good idea. Um, and let's see, because that is directly from there. 
you're going to start getting the idea of what I want to do. So if I go down this way, and yep, there we go. So Auden enchantment table, uh, and I believe the anvil will need to be not there, here. So that's where the anvil is going to go. Brilliant. Fantastic. Um, I may also need a cover just so it doesn't look silly. Uh, and that one there, that'll do. Cool. So you're getting a picture, but why? Why the tank? Uh, in fact, I'm also going to need to replace these. So uh, I believe the typesetting table comes first. And then this guy here, so the, uh, the printing press. Um, they are pretty cool, guys. I'm not going to lie been looking into this stuff um, and the last thing is the auto disenchanter which does need power I'm actually wondering whether or not I can just place one of these tesseracts down uh, and feed it directly that'll be cool uh, one for power good excellent so that charges right away um, I do need more books I do believe I'm gonna have to make some more um, but nevertheless okay uh, let's get most of this stuff ready. I'm going to need, well this has already got power, but these two are going to need liquid XP. Uh, that is what they are for. They are amazing. You will love them. Um, or else. Now, you may be asking yourselves, or else what? And to tell you the truth, folks, uh, or else I will probably cry, because I've been working pretty hard on this. Um, well, kind of. Kind of pretty hard. So, I do have some fluid ducts here. And you'll start seeing what they're all for soon. Um, so that plugs in just fine. And you may be starting to get a bit of an idea. Essentially the liquid XP travels down these fluid ducts uh, into the auto enchantment table and to the auto anvil. Um, the idea is that you shouldn't have to be holding experience in order to be able to, uh, you know, enchant things. And that's pretty much the whole reason why I have, you know, this stuff here. Um, now let me just place this. Good. So it comes out right away. I like that the XP has a light level. That's cool. Alrighty, so this should start filling up. Brilliant. Uh, it's almost full. And why aren't you accepting auto drink please keep in mind that I don't exactly know what I'm doing so I may need to find out one second okay I think I figured it out if I tell it to auto drink on that side there we go I kind of forget that you can shift these around I got very confused uh, which means that this one should do the exact same auto drink from the bottom and voila so experience automatically flows into these uh, but you may be thinking, why the tank then? Well, we will see. Um, essentially, I'm just going to go drop off my experience right now. Uh, da, 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 da. This probably won't last very long, but it's mainly needed so I can do these first few enchants. Oh, wow. It used to be up to like that first little bar there, and now it's practically drained. Oh, dear. Um... So, you know how an enchantment table works, you basically just place in your item. Um, now these ones can't be enchanted, can that be enchanted? Oh, and I was not meant to do that. <laughs> Invar Battle Wrench now has knockback too. Um, oops, so this does give me a very good chance to uh, explain what the auto disenchanter is. So you kind of get the idea, you place an item on the left, you choose a level of the enchant that you want, and it drains this experience based on uh, you know what it's trying to enchant. Uh, the same thing will go for the auto anvil. So if I try to combine uh, two items together or an item and a book, uh, say you know this Invar battle wrench and a book of a certain kind, uh, it would automatically put that stuff on there. Now it shouldn't actually be auto enchanting. Hmm. Maybe I just shouldn't have um, put it in there. Anyway, Auto Disenchanter, uh, I am going to need a book, so let's just 
slice these down. I didn't quite realize how many books I was making until it was too late. Um, right there, brilliant. Lots and lots of books, love it. Um, and I've still got 30 or oh, 23 of them. I thought I had more than that. Uh, right, so books, place book here, put this here, and does that work? Okay, I think it takes until it reaches 600, so let's just wait for that. Okay, so we are almost there. Boom, just like that. So essentially it takes your item, does a little bit of damage to it, and then puts that enchantment onto a book. Uh, the idea is that you can try and get the enchantments that you want, take them off, uh, and then you know maybe find a way to repair them if you have. Uh, I haven't got a way to repair things yet except for my basic tools. Um, that's part of why I need to get into this enchant thing. Uh, because I want the repair enchant uh, on top of a few other things. One of them specifically, uh, we're going to be needing a wither. We're going to need you know the, the nether star thing or whatever they're called. Uh, but you're getting the idea. So that's a nice, lovely book. Um, I don't really want Knockback 2. Uh, I don't tend to use it. But I do have more items here, as you may see. Um, let's just put some of these things down. Uh, chases, I believe, go into there. Cool. Um, and then where can I place this? Uh, hmm. No, I don't really want to do that. Uh, no. <laughs> this is what I was doing before. I was basically replacing everything around here with stone. Um, and unfortunately, I wasn't quite doing as well as I thought I was. Uh, have I got enough? Sure do. And you. Um, we can't really do the same thing on that side. Um, so let's just go like that. This displeases me because it's I've had to like move this thing one in. Oh well. Um knock, 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 knock. Who's there? It's Harold, your father. Um So here we go. We've got some bookshelves. Uh, this is where we're gonna put things that we both want and do not want. Uh so knock back two. You can basically just right click and boom, there it is. Uh, you can shift right click to grab it back, uh, put it somewhere else. I mean, the type of book color it is is just based on where it is in the uh, in the shelf here. So you can kind of just move it around. You'll see it changes color. Uh, but that's where I'm going to be putting all these books. Um, ideally, this one here, like this shelf or set of shelves, will be all the random ones. And this one will be the really good ones. Uh, and the idea... Um, Let's see, do I have more books? We sure do. So let's just, we'll do this as like an example. So let me just grab some experience by left clicking. <gasps> oh, wait, hang on. Left click, right click, um, put that there. Right click, okay. Right click with an empty hand and you can basically just keep doing it until you get tons and tons of experience. Now, I don't have a heap of experience. That's probably all the experience that I have left now after, you know, what's in here um, and in here. So I will probably have to put this experience back or at least go get some more. Um, but we will be doing lots of different ways for getting more of these experience. We'll see we've completely drained the tank. I really wish I hadn't made that enchant on Knockback 2, but um, if I type in book, there we go, Smite 4 and Punch 2. Neither of them are very good books. Um, anyway, cool. So, what one do we want? Knockback 2, Smite 2, or Knockback... Wait, Punch 2, sorry. So that's for bows. Uh, smite 4, Knockback 2. We'll do it with Knockback 2, mainly because it's kind of cheap. Uh, so let's place that in here. And a book there. Um, now I have to remember how to do this. I am not sure whether or not I needed a button. I don't know. It just looked like it was kind of the right size. Um, 
Oh, hang on. What does that say? Select a book. I did know how to do this before. Um, hmm. Let me just figure this out. Alrighty, so remember there is one thing you should never be without, your monocle. Uh, so let's put this thing on. Now, I'm pretty sure that I do still need that button. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, select a book. Well, 40 levels. Okay, so that's probably why it was not uh, being too forthcoming with me. Uh, let's just change to a form where we can actually see. Um, yeah, so if I was to select the Knockback 2 book, I would need at least 10 more levels. So, perhaps this was not the best book to choose. <laughs> Uh, you put the thing there, um, I think I've wasted this print press plate uh, because I didn't select a book um, and I can't place that back down again, damn. Um, but you put it there, you push the button and it turns that book into one of these. Uh, from there you place it in there, uh, you get your ink, which I do have, and you place it at the very back. Oh, don't do that. You can't do anything there. What are you doing? Yeah. Stupid thing. Um, but yeah, you essentially put the print press there. You put your books down here. Um, and it turns one of these books into, you know, an enchanted version of whatever you made. Uh, you can get three of the enchanted books per one of these. So because I was going to make three of them, essentially, uh, it cost 40 levels to do it, even though that was only like a 30 level enchant. Uh, but that's kind of the idea. So, very, very cool. Uh, let me go get some more experience. Okay, so we're going to go to the end. I'll show you guys what that's like. Uh, but essentially, you get the idea here. So we've turned this room instead of being bare. Uh, you know, we'll do a bunch of enchanting. Uh, if it's an enchant that we don't like, then we use the auto disenchant to take it off. Uh, and we put that book into here, and then we can just keep enchanting things. Um, at least until they break. Um, for that purpose, we may end up using gold, because apparently gold makes the best enchants. Um, but once we get one that we want, we can copy it. Uh, at that point, you know, you can turn it into a printing chase, start making a whole bunch of books, you make about three of them per printing chase, uh, and then I can combine them together in an auto anvil, uh, which is always fun. Always. Always. Um, but that's the idea at least. So let's go get some more experience. Uh, I will see you at the end. Alrighty, so here we go. That is the end. Uh, this is what I was using before, by the way, for Miscraft. You essentially put ink in here and a book over here and it helps create a thing over there. And then you can turn that into a book that's like a linking book. And yeah, I really hope that I don't lose all my stuff. Um, I've made it so that, oh, go away. Um, I put all my stuff into this white one here, uh, including everything in the knapsack, because when you die, everything in your knapsack draw, like just falls all over the ground. Um, I also have made a thing called the Queen of Hearts. In case you didn't know, um, it's got one thing of repair, looting three, sharpness, reinforce three, rideable, stonebound, etc. Um, the idea is that it was made to, uh, what's it called? Um... I was using it to kill with the skeletons because I was trying to get their heads. You may have noticed them in my inventory. Uh, but they're very good at killing things. And looting always helps. So we'll take that with us. Ooh. There is our book. We do not want to lose that book. So there we go. Um, we'll take that with us. Now, there is a dragon around here somewhere. I'm not entirely certain where, so we won't travel very far. Um, but the whole idea is that we just look at a bunch of these. Um, and let me just turn that sound off. So I'm very sorry about that sound. Um, essentially, I'm just wanting to look at all of these guys, bring them over here. Um, and then I can drop down into this area here. 
Oh, no. Okay, I think it's okay. Um, I forgot about the fact that we've moved on to the version where uh, we have graves. Oh, don't, don't fall. Do not fall. Uh, and stay away from them. So I should just be able to break my grave and get that back. That's what you get for getting cocky, guys. That is what you get. Um, shift, right click. Phew. Okay, it's okay. Um, and I even managed to keep everything, so I'll keep that, put that up there, uh, bag, food, I'm not sure why I have the stone bricks. Uh, let's go into here first, and then start hitting things. <laughs> Yay! So look at that. Uh, just like that, I mean, we serve the whole purpose of both getting experience. Um, yeah. Sorry. Forgot again. Uh, we serve the whole purpose of getting experience as well as, you know, getting ender pearls and things like that. Um, I mean, it's probably not the best way to go about it, but I don't know, it, it works for me. <laughs> so, I mean, all I have to do is just whack them on the leg and, you know, almost die, of course. This would be much better if I had experience. Uh, unfortunately, I don't because I'm an idiot. Uh, but I'm going to do this for a little while. I'm going to get some more experience. Um, and if it's not a very good way of doing it, then oh well. <laughs> I am not very good at this. Uh, hi guys, I found the dragon. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's gone a little bit too far away, and I've moved away from it. Um, I keep dying. I've like it drops all my items, and that's fine. But I only get like ten levels of experience back, plus you know, three or four that it leaves over there. Um, not good, and then the dragon just comes back and makes me very unhappy. So, there we go. That will be uh, all for that particular trip. Ugh. Not cool. Not cool at all. Uh, we're going to have to take care of that dragon at some point. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, cool story. Um, just had a big blue screen, which basically... Uh, you know, completely destroyed me. Uh, I, I couldn't open the map in single player, so I've had to move all the map files to a server again. Hopefully it will be fine there. I've moved it completely off of this particular computer and I'm just running it over the network. Um, I've managed to get the world loaded up as far as it can, but it seems to have corrupted my player save. Um, I've managed to recover, you know, using my particular character, um, a chicken and a bat that seems to be enough for now um, I'm gonna have to recover all of that other stuff again yeah so that that was a cool well that was a good reason for using this stuff here um, I did manage to get the dud back from one of my uh, saves but I've lost you know the um, the Queen of Hearts the sword that has looting and all of that stuff like it was uh, it's not like I can't recover from that, but, um, I know it's just kind of disappointing. So, I may actually have to cut the episode short here for now, so I'm very, very sorry. Uh, I know that I haven't actually given you much at all. Um, but I hope that you guys are having a good day. <laughs> this thing has kind of just, you know, put, a, put me in a bit of a downer, because I'm trying to figure out on why my computer is just not happy. Um... But I hope that you guys are having a good day once again, and I will see you guys next time. And next time we will be, you know, either fighting the wither or we'll be doing something exciting. I'll, I'll make sure that I'm making it up to you guys. So thank you guys, and I'll catch you guys next time.